Good morning traders, it's PTU. Welcome back. This is uh, Trading Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very, very magic setup uh, I use every day to trigger uh, the market. We are on NASDAQ. I use it on 50 seconds in frame, so for a quick scalp, but this is something that you can use on, on every time frame uh so in, in this video we'll show you just the, the trigger okay uh if you want to see full the, the full strategy uh you have all the video that i share here on this channel or you can join in the disc group it's all free in this group uh you have a lot of uh, uh educational content you have future course you have my trading idea you have a back test uh, uh with my journal and above all you get the notion template of my strategy which is this one so the tk24 model you have everything okay tail with all oh, lots of uh samples a lot of chart uh, trigger you have here okay everything for free in the disc group so in the description below in the description below you have the link click on the link enter the enjoy the um, join the disc group so uh, i want to show you my tradezilla account this is what i may just switch on tradezilla after a long time I, I do my my own journal with notion or with uh, google sheets but i think tradezilla is something amazing that i really advise I really suggest to use because uh, uh, you have everything to journal and backtest your strategy. So I opened Trendzala on March, and this uh, these are all the uh, the trades I upload every day. So as you can see, with this this strategy, with this trigger, using just one uh, contract on Nasdaq, you have a lot of trades, and basically I have I had three red days on uh, 20 days so very good strategy uh, the win rate which is not very high uh, but the drawdown is very low as you can see so the, the worst drawdown was this one okay with minus 220 dollars so which is very low um okay so what about this trigger it's very easy but once you uh, understand the logic that's behind this trigger uh you you really got got very impressive how, how chance to enter the market you have during the day okay so basically what i i need is only a delta uh, uh indicator uh with the, the the yellow line is the cumulative data volume which is something that i add uh for my confluence but i don't need it to be honest uh what's really important you see a spike volume bullish or bearish whatever but what they wait is a spike okay is a clear impulse in which market is telling me that bullish are taking control of the market or bearish uh here or sellers so are taking control of the market right here okay what i'm looking for uh, how i use this 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 uh, trigger is to highlight uh, to identify manipulations let's have an example price like here is down is bearish okay so when we enter in a possible um reaction zone in my strategy is everything is uh, is i mean you can find everything on, on the strategy on my national plate so we're going down price now get the lows here okay and grab the liquidity and then go up so um what do you supposed to do to take this trade is waiting for a break of structure waiting for a retest and go on going up okay which is very good but what about using the logic of smart morning traders why we have this impulse here why from here price began to go up the answer is volumes look at this spike that we have here okay so this candle is the last candle okay that sorry broke this low okay 
with this huge amount of with huge selling pressure. So a retail trader, once he, he sees this, this kind of movement, he thinks that with this huge bearish pressure, price broke the low and of course price is going down. The reason, the, the truth is that this is a manipulation because big boys over there try to put one price to move down, grab the liquidity and buy and uh, buyer enter the market, buyers enter the market with a strong bullish pressure to break the structure, to break the candle that broke the previous structure. I repeat. So we have this low, we have this candle that broke the structure here, broke this low. We have a strong amount of sellers came in the market, but then here price broke the candle that before broke the last low. Okay, this is the signal that we suppose, we can suppose, that buyers to control of the market. So what you have to wonder is, if we have this strong bullish pressure, bearish pressure, okay, here there are a lot of sellers, okay, so why price is not going down? Because it's a manipulation. So what you have to look for is basically trapped sellers. All this zone is trapped sellers. Price move away from the zone, bullish signal, retest, and then it goes. This is how I made the all the profit I made this, this month. Okay. And I want to show you the trade that I took today using this trigger. So the first one is this one. Okay. It's not uh, we are one hour before US opening, but so you cannot see so much better that the trades anyway we have this strong sellers <coughs> sorry selling pressure okay so when price is going up okay i just wait for for price to retest i know that this is liquidity okay and i enter here with just a little bit of drawdown well, i enter with half size and then price is going up this is basically the trade that which i have a lot of drawdown uh to be, just a few few takes to be honest a few points second is this one with with london with the uh, us opening so we have sorry we have this huge spike sorry for my drawing so this is the delta candle that i want for the price to break here and now when I see this candle breaking the structure, what I wait is for a retest of all this zone, all this zone. So broke, retest, and I go down. Why here? Because I see this bullish delta candle. Okay, easy. Stop loss is, is sorry, stake profit is here. Okay, uh, once I, I see filled all this imbalance the stop loss is just uh, above the delta candle that price broke confirming that we are on a bearish side second trade is this one for short so same same thing we have this bullish candle strong bull strong bullish pressure enter the market at broke this high and then price is going down breaking this lows retest where usually when the zone is higher like this is very huge what i want to to wait uh is sorry um is a volume zone here that you can find for example with a cluster okay or a Another, the same movement, the same trigger in a lower time frame. I use the five second time frame. Okay, so the reason by which I highlight the zone is because 
this zone is a possible zone in which price will retest in the future because we have one two clusters but one i see when i see price uh give me the same setup inside a lower time frame five seconds for example um inside the zone the the price um uh, on the same zone of the candle okay or the climax candle this is the climax candle okay so inside the zone i want to see the same trigger here once i saw the trigger once i see the trigger i enter the market second trade the take profit here here i miss the trade because i was um i'm waiting for the price to go down but the truth is that price made the same trigger where here so we have bullish sorry bearish pressure here one two so this is the zone that i want for the price to break price break the zone re-enter here trigger five seconds second up and then price go high take profit here stop loss here another one uh, uh here another trade that i missed probably so yeah I we have delta volume delta spike okay so this okay sorry this candle price broke here even if uh probably i missed this i i didn't miss a trade i i didn't want to take because this is not a clear break of structure okay this is a break of structure okay but once price is going too far from the zone that i want for the price to to to, to break uh, i do not consider a trade anyway price this structure is being broken definitely here price re-enter the trade imbalance okay i usually wait for the price to feel all the imbalance left on the left to go down let's move forward remember i told you oh no not yet okay so price retested the zone that i take the uh, show you before with this trade feeling this imbalance oh, but here no yeah we have this one look at this delta is this one okay price broke here okay with this candle retest inside the zone and i took the short here this was a very short um a very quick trade uh, with the stop loss here um i took this trade with one size why because i expected for the price to test again the zone here okay so i split the size i split the, the trade but it never retest the zone so without size i, I took the trade oh uh, i took also a stop loss i don't remember where to be honest anyway look at here same same pattern again and again and again once you train your eyes you will see this pattern everywhere so we have bearish delta here volume so this is the candle we want for the price to break price did it and never retested if it's going to retest um you know too far so we don't want to wait for a long time because the setup is not valid anymore could be not valid okay so this is another another setup for the simple reason that i showed you before so let me raise everything uh why to this trade because i saw this candle so this is the climax this candle price broad here no not from here i don't remember why to this trade ah yeah sorry sorry this is the sorry this is the letter candle so price broke here retested and here i waited for another confirmation which is could be an engulfing or or uh same setup on the lower time frame okay uh one as we are all bullish okay just want to wait for another setup another confirmation before entering the market okay look here we have another trade okay so look at all this volume delta bearish price broke here retested and then goes up obviously why here because we have we are on a second standard deviation of the view up which could be a good zone to to enter um and this trigger is very good also for the continuation trade for example here so look this candle okay which is this one so 
this is a clear could be the beginning of the clear manipulation when price breaking this this low here retested to go down it didn't do that it tested the zone a zone from which we have the delta and the volume and the spike volume okay retest it and go up it's every day like this once you train your eyes you will see this trigger every day obviously it could be you don't have to use it everywhere but only when in the specific zone okay look here probably we have a trade so no so this could be good because we have on the highs price make this this strong volume okay i just wait for the price to broke also this this structure here and retested the uh, imbalance which is not filled yet i used to to wait for the support even if we have a strong delta candle at the top okay so which is usually a pin bar but i just wait for a, a middle structure to be broken i didn't find the stop loss that i took this this morning i don't remember anyway guys uh this is a very good trick that in my opinion you have to learn because it works on every market it works on every time frame you can adapt this strategy using a five minute time frame with one minute trigger um but anyway in my notion template you get all the stuff <coughs> sorry for my voice i'm feeling not good uh during these days anyway uh hope you guys like this video let me know what you think using the comment section below Subscribe to the channel, press the thumbs up button, ring the bell, say your own story. Uh, but we really appreciate it if you if you help me to grow my community. Join my Discord group in which you have everything for free. Thank you very much, guys. See you in the next video.